Ooh. Okay, anyway. Um, quick point of note. Some of this video was made before I realized what was going on with iTunes and my computer almost completely overheating and afterwards. So you'll see a couple little clips here and there that, you know, my computer uh, display is inconsistent and that is why. Just wanted to let you know real quick. If you've ever wanted to adjust the to make an actual custom color, because right now the when they when you adjust the color and personalization, they only give you this limited selection of colors. Well, you can go in and go to the bottom left color. If you've ever wondered why do they have this one that's just kind of sitting on its own, well, that's the one that you can edit if you go into the registry editor. So you know, go to uh, you know, hit the Windows key, hit R, and type in Reg Edit and OK, and then it will give you a confirmation, then you go to the registry editor. And you'll want to go to H key current user, software, Microsoft, Windows, current version, and you scroll down some more, themes, and then personalize. And then you'll have this entry called special color and you'll want to change that to a hex value. Now, it's the opposite order. No, most of the time you think of red, green, blue. Well, in this case, it's blue, green, red. And the one that I've chosen is FFAA88. Fate. And then you go back to your personaliza personaliza personalization. And then uh, you know, click on some other color, click on that again, and bam, you'll have the new color. So, if you're wondering how this top bar up here is a color instead of being white, like they've made it stupidly, I don't still don't know why they did that. Um, there is a uh, there is a theme that you can get that I I have put up on my server. Normally, you'd have to go to a mega upload thing, and I'm like, you know, don't make people go through that. So. It will be in, uh, I will leave a link to that in the description bar. It's called themes.rar. And when you go to themes.rar, um, you'll want to, uh, you know, unrar it, obviously. And then when you go to, uh, when you find the things that are inside of it, it's, it's, there's a folder called colored, another one called colored.theme. You want to take those and copy them over to C, Windows, Resources, Themes, and uh, copy them to there. You'll have to confirm to, because it's, it will say, oh, you're not authorized, you want to authorize, and yes. And you copy them to there. And uh, it'll ask if you want to uh, use that theme, and you go, yes. You'll have to change your desktop background again, but you'll then have the option to, whatever the highlight color you do, the top border of the window will be that color. Okay, another thing that's been frustrating is uh, the... Normally, you can't get to Windows Photo Viewer. They kind of, they removed it and replaced it with the Photos app, which displays a lot of images really blurry. I mean really blurry, they look like crap. And you can't see the name of the uh, of what you're looking at unless you click on some ex extra options and then click on info, info and then you can finally see the name of what you're looking at. You know, I think the Photos app is garbage. Um, and so I prefer Windows Photo Viewer. Well, you can access that you could make your own registry uh, entry, but I've created one for you, and you'll find that in uh, photos.zip, and it will be a .reg file. You can double click that. You can look at it if you want. If you don't trust me, go ahead and, and say edit, so you can look at it for yourself and see what it is. And it basically adds 
uh, entries to the registry that will make it so Windows Photo Viewer will will work again. So you can see this sort of thing again. And let's see here. If you now here is a much better way of uh, than the way that I had originally suggested to uh, disable automatic updates in Windows 10. You're going to want to go to gpedit.msc. You type in gpedit.msc and it will bring this up. And where you want to go from here, you want to go to Administrative Templates, Windows Components, and Windows Update. You want to go to Automatic Updates Detection Frequency, select Disabled, hit OK. Then you'll want to go to uh, uh, Configure Automatic Updates. Select this for Enabled, and then um, personally I've set it up for Notify for Download and Notify for Install. And that's how I've had mine set up. And then you'll want to restart your computer. And it should be taken care of at that point. There's something for Cortana. So it won't constantly be trying to search for the web when you're trying to type in things. So it, it will just search for things that are on your drive. So it's just a regular search. Also, so it doesn't constantly log the things that you're doing in Windows which is kind of a security issue as far as I'm concerned. Which to me makes a lot more sense. I think Cortana is stupid. And what you're going to want to do is go to uh, stay in uh, local group policy editor. Go to administrative templates, windows components, and search. And then double click uh, allow Cortana and select Disable. Okay, one of the other things that you need to do for in Cortana is to click the uh, the settings and make sure you turn uh, Search Online and Include Web Results off. You've got to do that too. And then you can restart your computer and Cortana will no longer come up the way it normally does. And let's see here. And there is the dark theme. There is a registry uh, entry for that. And all you'll have to do, I'll leave a link to that as well. This makes it so things that are in. Uh, you know, like uh, when you go to personalization and stuff like that, a lot of these will have a dark theme instead of the light theme. Now, it's kind of hard to read what's at the top, as you can see, but if you look close enough, you can see it, and I prefer the dark theme in general. So, um, but these are some things that were irritating for me that are some fixes, and I hope this is able to help you.